dragons do not do well in captivity. How do you know this? That's what I do. I drink, and I know things. We're back! Now, like almost everyone in the planet and in the Seven Kingdoms, I am a huge Game of Thrones fan, so there are so many of we fans. In fact, it's been reported that President Obama himself asked for and received the only advanced copy of the upcoming sixth season of the show in existence. That's power, right? Oh, I know. Makes me want to be president. Well, I am not president. I don't have a screener just like you, which is yeah. why I just did my hair like Game of Thrones today. <laughs> oh, uh, Do you like it? It's lovely. Thank uh, you very much. So we have to wait six days until the premiere, but it does give us time to plan an epic Game of Thrones viewing party. And here with ideas is event planner Rebecca Wise. Hi, Rebecca. Yeah. Hi. So, Rebecca, we all know and love and love the TV series, but where did you get inspired to take the show and turn it into, like, an event planning inspiration? Game of Thrones is every stylist's dream, so if you have any sort of inclination towards that, of course you want to throw your own Game of Thrones party. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. Um, what I love most about the show is that every single character has their own distinct style, their own color palette. Yes, they have their sigils, but it goes so far above and beyond that. The characters are really complex internally, but externally they're marked very distinctly by what they wear, what colors they wear, markers like that. Okay, so Rebecca, a lot of last season took place at Castle Black, and mm -hmm. Castle Black is uh, for the Brotherhood of the Night's Watch. They watch over the wall. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's a bunch of dudes wearing cloaks and feathers all over them, <laughs> and they're super intense all the time. How did you capture the essence of the dark and stormy mm -hmm. Castle Black? So for this first party table, we used a palette of black, silver with wood accents. Like you said, the Night's Watch often wear long cloaks, often fur-trimmed. Their weapons are silver and metal. They're not wealthy or showy, so everything should be practical as opposed to ornamental. So we've got wood chargers, we've got wood flatware, uh, the lanterns are decorative, but they light the way at night. It's really easy to go goth with this, and you don't want to do that. It's always important to bring it back to the rusticness of the north with fur and chain mail and rustic foods like steak and herb roasted potatoes. For your centerpieces, you want to use red flowers. The darker the better to remind us of the blood of the north. And the blood of the yeah, the snow against the, the snow at the end of last mm -hmm. season. Yeah, so spoilers, but obviously <laughs> the big cliffhanger at the end of last season is is Jon Snow, my man crush, my number one fella. Is he uh, yeah. is he alive or dead? And obviously he's a part of the Night's Watch, and mm -hmm. they're often called crows in the Night's Watch, and crows are a, a, a lot of iconography yeah. of the show is built around crows. Mm -hmm. So how did you take that idea of crows and, and build it into the party? Yeah, crows and ravens are a really important symbol. Uh, they have a mystical connection with the weirwood trees, which we have here. Uh -huh. Ta -da. Um, they're how the Night's Watch communicate with the rest of the realm. They appear when the White Walkers appear. And so we use this really fun black ruffled linen as just a unique way to bring out the crow essence. I'd make a blazer out of that. <laughs> you could make a Game of Thrones premiere. I'd make a very good mm. blazer, yeah. Um, now, Lady and I won't go to a party unless there's booze and dessert, right? I think that's True. fair to say. Fact. Yes. Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, you're all on it. Yeah. Uh, so, what, what do you have on the cocktail and sweet side? Mm, so, we have the White Walker and the crow, aptly named. The White Walker is Ainsbury Duck Vodka, and to get the essence of like the bluey tone of the White Walkers, we added a bit of creme de violet. The uh, crow is a, it's a heartier drink. It's not for those who are shy. It is uh, Lot 40 Whiskey, Averna, and Walnut Bitters. Not really for me, I'll go for a White Walker myself. Um, Can I try a sip of it? Yeah, yeah, by all means, good, okay? good you, luck. Yeah, yeah. Are you, yeah you, are, you are a crow now, right? <laughs> uh, when you think of a manly man, you think of me. Yeah. Okay, we're we're going to move well. on to what looks Open. like a feast fit for the Lannister family that's before they started to fall apart. This is obviously a spread for really rich people, I'm mm -hmm. assuming. Well, the Lannisters are royal, but they're also lethal, and it's important to remember that. Oh. Their banner is red and gold, and so your party table should be as well. A red linen makes a gorgeous statement, and then everything on top from your candlesticks to your chargers and your flatware, everything should be gold. This is a period piece, as we all know, so I think it's a lot of fun to get an antique sort of looking tapestry, and it just adds that hit of layered, layered royalness to your table. 
they've really built the King's Landing mood. What, what do we have in the way of dishes here? Ah, so we have, obviously, the Lannisters eat like kings and queens. Yeah. So we have an abundant charcuterie board with thin compote. Yeah. You really want to bring in, like, crusty breads and stews and tarts and roast herb roasted turkey legs like we have here. Um, for desserts, um, the Lannisters would never let you forget where you're eating. So put your banner right on the cake. It's branding, right? <laughs> it's like it branding one The Lannisters would do it. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love you got the big piece of meat there. That's <laughs> awesome. Uh, and I hate to keep asking about booze, but what do we have on the drink side? <laughs> he actually doesn't hate it. I don't think it's obviously the, the Lannisters are big yeah. on wine, though, right? They are. Tyrion, yeah. I always see him drinking wine. Yeah, Tyrion and Cersei drink a lot of red wine, but for your guests, I thought it would be a lot of fun if we had a green wildfire cocktail. This is used, this is created using beef eater gin, lime, chartreuse, and snap pea juice. Snap mm -hmm. juice. Snap juice. Yeah, super unique. Okay. Yeah. That was amazing. Wow. Okay, we're going to move on to our next setup, and this looks like the setup for Daenerys. Yeah. Khaleesi, the storm bar. You got the Khaleesi hair? I got yeah. the Khaleesi hair. I love uh, it. Why did you choose this for her character? Daenerys, by far, hands down, ask my husband, is my favorite character yeah. in the entire show because of how she's juxtaposed. So she's strong, she's fierce, she's a leader, but she's also soft and flowy and romantic and she's a mother which we all know her style is really unique too and really heavily juxtaposed as well she's a queen and so she's accustomed to flowy fabrics and structured whites but she's also spent a lot of time in the desert so we see moroccan influences with the desert with you know the desert influences there she's, mm -hmm. she's also the mother of dragons of course she's got three of them drogon chief among yeah. them is her favorite how did you tra take that dragon theme and integrate it we had a lot of fun with the dragon influences so for the centerpiece we placed some Soft, romantic flowers right oh. next to these awesome black spiky proteas. These are, these are like punk rock yeah. flowers. These yeah, yeah. Well, to me, they remind me of the actual dragons themselves, right? They're spiky, they're black, they're harsh, and put them right next to the soft flowers. It's really unique. That's mm -hmm. gorgeous. Wow. We also... <laughs> We also have some amazing dragon egg cookies. And who doesn't love a cookie? We have to have a dragon cookie. And then, of course, for dinner, we have grilled swordfish kebabs with a fiery chipotle aioli and beet, sta mm, and beet stained deviled eggs. Okay, now it's my turn to ask about the cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me about the cocktail that you created. So Daenerys, I think, is surprising. And so this cocktail is light and airy with a bit of an edge. It is Havana Club rum with rosemary syrup, muddled dragon fruit, and egg white. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, my 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 get it. Sorry about centerpiece. Do you want to try this all one of later? this is gorgeous. I will try some in a minute. All of this is gorgeous. I'm so excited. Of course, Daenerys is all of our favorite characters. This is so super her. I thought it was just me. No, all of us. We love her. I mean, like, to have a woman like that, a mother of dragons, she's going to rule the universe. Very strong. Thank you so much. We have all of these amazing ideas posted on our website after the show. And don't forget... As Teddy said, winter is coming. So season six, the premiere, Game of Thrones, is this Sunday, April 24th at 9 p.m. on HBO Canada. Do not miss.